will not conduct a hasty rush to the exit. We'll do it. We'll do it responsibly, deliberately and safely. Our embassy, of, of course, is, is remaining there and a presence there as well. We're not withdrawing. We're staying. Uh, the embassy is staying. I met with uh, the Afghan government here in, in the White House, in the Oval. I think they have the capacity to be able to sustain the government. Is a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No. No particular outcome, in our view, is inevitable. But there's no intention right now to close the embassy or to close all the diplomatic presence. The situation in Kabul is calm right now. The Afghan government will likely collapse. That is not true. They clearly have the capacity to sustain the government. We are not going to walk away and not sustain their ability to maintain that force. If there is a significant deterioration, I don't think it's going to be something that happens from a Friday to a Monday. Do you see any parallels between this withdrawal and what happened in Vietnam with some people feeling... None whatsoever. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. But the likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. July was the busiest month for illegal border crossings in 21 years. Is a Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. The Taliban have taken control of the Afghan government despite 20 years of U.S. military and financial support. The latest numbers prove prices are going up on just about everything right now. Joe Biden is going to be the face of the failure of the withdrawal. Murders are up 58 percent compared to 2019 and shootings up more than 65. Unprecedented crisis. That is what the Secretary of Homeland Security just called it. President Biden's immigration plans being derailed by conflicting messages and the reality on the ground at the southern border. Higher prices are likely here to stay. 7,000 COVID positive migrants into the city since February. 1,500 of them just this week alone. The president was hardly visible as he departed for his weekend retreat at Camp David. Do you see any parallels between this withdrawal and what happened in Vietnam with some people feeling... With None whatsoever. Zero. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. As the Taliban complete their takeover, the chaotic departure of uh, embassy staff is drawing comparisons to the fall of Saigon during the Vietnam War. Just look at this uh, side by side. On the left, Americans being airlifted from the U.S. Embassy in Saigon in 1975. And on the right, the same scene today in Taliban Col takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. Because you have the Afghan troops have 300,000 well-equipped, as well-equipped as any army in the world, and an air force against something like 75,000 Taliban. It is not inevitable. Well, the Taliban's return to power in Afghanistan now appears inevitable. 